Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to today's episode and we will be talking about the new format for Miss Universe 2020. Well, earlier today, there's been a circulating rumor about the new format for Miss Universe 2020. And I've actually asked some people, I've actually asked some very reliable sources as well. And it seems like many people have already confirmed that it's going to be the format for Miss Universe 2020. And starting today, that will be the basis of my leaderboards and everything else that I will be doing leading to the finale of Miss Universe. Now, based on the format that has been revealed, we will be po I mean, posting it here on how the flow of the format is. We will start with a we will start with the top 21 announcement and there will be no regional selection, which I'm 50-50 on that one. I truly love the continental format, but the good thing about this no continental selection as well is that this is going to be a real battle to get to the top 21. Of course, 20 of them will be based on the preliminaries plus one, which will advance because of the voting that has been happening for a long time already. So it would be very exciting. So since they have announced that there will be no regional format, the upcoming leaderboards won't have any regional formats as well. I'm very happy because it's going to be very, very exciting. Now, after the top 21 announcement, these top 21 ladies will all compete in the swimsuit competition. Wow. There will be no opening statement because based on the information that they have found online it's because it's simply because they cannot use the same microphone for the 21 ladies and since the show will be broadcast broadcasted internationally of course they don't want to violate some health protocols related to covid so i understand that so i'm just sad because the ladies will not be given the chance to speak anymore but since there will be no opening statement which actually affects the cut to the top 10 and they will be only battling because of the swimsuit competition this is going to be a real game changer i mean wow this is the time it's it feels like they are bringing us back to trump era in a way because the ladies that i see advancing to the next rounds are those who are really good in stage performance which means some great speakers could make it because of, of course, strong preliminary interviews. They could still make it to the top 21, but if they cannot perform against the stomping, especially the Latinas that will be performing very well in the swimsuit, we might see some great speakers being eliminated right at this round. And that's a little bit sad. Because if we go back to the opening speech, most of them will actually advance to the top 10. We know that the great speakers will advance to the top 10. This is why this change is a real game changer. And because of this, I am very excited to release my pre-arrival leaderboard, which will be released soon before, I mean, not pre-arrival, I'm sorry, pre-preliminaries, which I will be releasing days before the preliminaries. Wow, it's going to be exciting. Now, after the top 21 streams of competition, they will cut it down to top 10. Wow, that was a huge cut. And it will just be based on the swimsuit. I don't know. I'm just used to the changes of IMG. But then again, that's what they wanted. Now, these 10 will be competing in the evening gown. So, obviously, these 10 ladies are one of our 10 of the best performers in the runway so this is what i have said before that it will definitely change my favorites so these 10 will compete in the evening gown competition and then from these 10 they will cut it down to top five the thing here is great speakers strong performers will make it in the top 21 but those who are very good in the runway these are the ladies that will go all the way to the top five 
and once they reach the top five they will be the one who's going to battle it out in the interviews now again as what I have said earlier there are some strong speakers that I really do not see them because there's just so many many great Latinas for example who are really good in runway performances so wow I don't know what to say it's like they're bringing us back to the, the, the Trump era really but all I can say is if these amazing speakers wanted to win then they really have to work it out on the swimsuit and the evening gun but whatever format it is all I can say is I believe the eventual and the rightful winner will still win and the most deserving will still win since IMG started they have never disappointed us when it comes to choosing winners in Miss Universe and I believe that the top five will make it as well because they have the same set of judges in the preliminaries and in the finals and I will be talking about that on another video but for now these top five will be answering one question that's what we got as of the moment that's the information that we have as of the moment and after I hope they'll make it two rounds of question and answer and then there will be no top three anymore after the top five question they will be announcing fourth one up third second first and Miss Universe 2020 so um I'm quite happy in a way because it's we're just warming up to the new format to the continental format but here we are again with another new format it seems like we're going to be doing some more changes especially with our prediction list with our leaderboard but it's quite exciting as well so I'm still open to changes because again as what I have said before I still have so much faith with IMG that regardless of whatever format it is we will always have the best of the best on top hopefully so what do you think I would love to know your thoughts about it about the new format have you heard about those news I'm, I won't say rumor because it has already been confirmed although the organization didn't announce it I mean they are not really announcing it anyway but most of the resources that we have they have already validated it and it seems like it's really true so what have you what are your thoughts about it do you do you like it do you like the no continental selection no opening statement top 21 swim if a swimsuit 10 evening gown 5 final question and then announcement of the winner what do you think about the entire flow of the competition so don't forget to leave your comments below don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well and most importantly don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of this videos in the future for now thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the philippines